Hi lovely and darling viewers, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy and this time I'm reviewing Can You Keep a Secret by Sophie Kinsella. This is a chiclet novel, so a romantic comedy, and it focuses on Emma Corgan who inadvertently spurts out all of her secrets and tells them to a stranger that she thinks she's never going to see again, and then she finds out that that stranger is her boss. So tons and tons of comedy in here, also a little bit of romance, and we have a character who is kind of ditzy and naive but also really likable and she's her heart's in a good place um but she's also still in her early 20s and not sure of herself so I loved watching her kind of grow up and be more confident in who she is when we meet Emma she is keeping tons of secrets she's kind of naive about the world she doesn't really want to admit her ignorance all the time so she, some of her stuff is like not telling people that she doesn't even know what NATO is or what it stands for um, some of it is not wanting to own up to mistakes, like how she broke her boss's favorite mug. Or that she got drunk at the Christmas party and Xeroxed her butt and now it's sitting on, like, the bulletin board by the copy and everybody's like, do you know whose butt this is? She's like, nope, I don't, I don't know who that is, that's not me. So some of them are secrets like that. She's kind of, she's not confident in who she is yet, uh, which I appreciated, like, seeing this, like, if you see it from that perspective. she's really sweet and she has good intentions but she's maybe not completely grown up yet so they're not like bad secrets but i mean she's got tons of them and part of this book is her growing up and facing them and learning when to keep secrets and when not to so we meet her while she is this marketing assistant and basically she's like the low rung in the pool entry level position she kind of does a little bit of work for everybody else. She has some, oh, her one coworker is a complete mess and just constantly takes advantage of her and treats her like Emma is that girl's personal assistant, which she's totally not. And so Emma gets back at her by like putting orange juice in her plants so it slowly dies, which I think is pretty funny. <laughs> and the girl's like, I don't know why the plant's dying. I take care of it. I give it light and water and everything. Some of these secrets are kind of innocent stuff. And some of them are like the fact that she, her friend comes up and be like, I need to talk to you about this stuff that's supposedly work related, but then they go off and get coffee for like an hour and just chat and Skype off work. She goes on this business trip and she has this meeting that completely tanks. So she's already stressed out about that. She's a little bit worried she might get fired. Um, and then she's nervous about flying and she's got to fly back and the plane hits turbulence. So she starts talking and just like splurting out stuff to this random stranger sitting next to her on the plane. Who, you know, happens to be a really cute guy. So, I mean, she just wants to talk to him. And she just tells him everything. Everything. Work-related, boyfriend-related, friend-related, parents-related. Just all these secrets just splurts them out. And the guy's just like politely listening to her. And she gets off the plane and she has this moment where she's mortified and she's like, I can't believe I just did that. But also, I'm never going to see that guy again, so it's fine. Until she gets to work on Monday and finds out that the CEO of the company is coming. And when he walks in the door, she's like, that's the stranger I just told all my secrets to. Including the ones about how I'm bad at my job. Yep, this is not going to go great. Um, so her, ba her boss, Jack Harper, has all these secrets. And it's this question of what is he going to do with them? Um... It is a comedy though, like Jack's pretty much an awesome guy and I, it took a while to warm up to him as a character. I don't really want to spoil what happens with the, with him and their story, but I really liked him by the end of this book. I thought he was awesome. I also think that the, some of these moments are a little bit cringeworthy, like when Emma's talking about her underwear or how her boyfriend looks like a Ken doll or how he can't, he can't, he, he's really bad at sex. <laughs> so some of these are like really cringeworthy things. She talks about how she lost her virginity upstairs while her parents were watching a movie downstairs. Um, I feel bad for her. There are definitely some moments that are like, eh. but also mostly it's funny and the way it's presented is a really humorous, humorous story, which I loved. There are also plenty of situations throughout this book as she re-encounters Jack over and over again <laughs> now that he's checking out the company. Um, she keeps running into him and also their interactions are kind of funny and it's fun to watch Emma 
freak out a little bit. Um, and sometimes he'll make, like, sly references to, like, one of her secrets without, like, letting everybody else know, but letting her know that he, he's like, I remember that thing you told me. <laughs> um, Jack is a little bit of a jerk, but mostly funny. Emma also has some really good best friends that make a great, um, secondary characters in this book. And her boyfriend is, um, interesting. <laughs> so, basically, I tore through this book in just a couple of days. Um... It was fun. It was entertaining. It was exactly what I was looking for. It was light. Um, it also does have some really, some strong like things to think about, like about the secrets we keep or who we keep them from or why are we keeping them? Um, and when should we share a secret? Like when have you kept it too long? Or should you share a secret with some people and not others? That's a huge part of this. Um, also, Emma needing to learn how to stand up for herself. She lets people walk all over her at the beginning of the book. And she slowly starts gaining confidence and owning who she is and what she does, which is also really important. And I loved watching Emma grow and become more confident, kind of figure out her life and ask for things. Like the beginning of the book, she's like, I wish I could get a promotion. She kind of just assumes it's going to be handed to her and instead of like going out and being like, hey, I want this promotion. How do I get it? And being more proactive in her life. So. Emma's character growth like she starts off a little bit ditzy um and it's funny but like she does actually grow as a person too which makes this book redeeming and interesting and one of the reasons why it's so good so I really loved Can You Keep a Secret by Sophie Kinsella I highly recommend it it is definitely a four-star read I loved it a lot guys I just ate it up seriously um so I recommend this. I also recommend other of Sofki Kinsella's writing. You should totally check them out. I really like I've Got Your Number. Like that's also a really amazing book. The Secrets of a Shopaholic, um, The Confessions of a Shopaholic is a little bit cringeworthy at times. So like that one's not really my favorite, but this one and I've Got Your Number are probably my two favorites that I've read by her so far. So yeah. Let me know in the comments below if you have read this or if you've read other books by Sofie Kinsella. And which are your favorites? Or just chick lit in general. What are your favorite chick lit novels? Because it's a pretty underrated but also amazing genre in my opinion. So peace out. I love you guys and keep reading. Bye.